don't want to overwhelm anyone. I'm going to have to read it. No, you'll have to take many notes because it's a very long and detailed dream. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just words. So um, all it is is there is a language, listen to it. That's it. Mm. That's it. Good. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. There's an exclamation point at the end. On the 12th. Yeah, I. No, it was not. It was just words. Okay. But it was a dream that you had, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I um, woke up. I don't know. Should I add to it? <laughs> or do you want to ask a question to someone? Okay. Can you recall anything now as you consider this? I felt... Um, it was very uh, energetic. Energetic. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Good morning. Energetic and um, very flowing. And uh, I would say more... Uh, I don't know how to put it. I don't know why I want to say vibrational, kind of like a musical feeling. Like you know when you feel music, and you feel like a. When I feel when I meditate, I feel uh, very uh, one with one. the music. A one. One, uh, with everything, just like a oneness, like a overwhelming love. No, no, that's good. Say a few more. Just boring. No, not boring. Oh, oh okay. Then no, what? I was really excited. Oh. oh <laughs> Actually. Well, I needed to hear that. See. <laughs> I was really excited. Oh, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, very excited. Because when I woke up, I knew I needed to write it down. Pardon? When I woke up, I knew I needed to write that down. It was very important for me to write it down. I couldn't find anything to write with. I couldn't find a piece of paper. So I, I remembered I had a pen in my purse, and I wrote it on an envelope. Yeah. I didn't care what I wrote on as long as I wrote it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very interesting statement, isn't it? It in, was. In terms of all of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, how do you see it in the dream? Um, just a really good flow. What? It was a really good flow. That was the flow? Yeah, there was a good flow. The words were flowing? Yes. Um, go ahead. As if what? As if I should just um, go with it. it go, go with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purples are really good too. They're like red. Yeah, I need a light one. Wait, like, go with it, listen to it. Yeah. There was no doubt about it. Right. 
go with it. There's no doubt about it. The words seem to just right. flow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, does it happen higher? Uh, higher? Did it vary, or was it continuous? It was um, like a f- hmm? continuous flow, a very good flow, very easygoing flow. Yeah. But, but not dull. No, not well, dull. Well, it's pretty exciting in that. Yeah, exciting. Um, awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Just okay. very easygoing, very... Um, very right. L-I-G-H-T. Light? Um, or L I G H T. Right. Like the or right W R I G H T. Like the right R-I-G-H-T. thing to do. Like the right thing to do. The right um right thing to do. Right yeah. place to be? Yes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is that was interesting too, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. In what way did you see? So while that was going on, you're, go ahead. Yeah, like I needed to um, listen to myself. What was that like? That was interesting. That, that was, was interesting. Yeah. yeah. In, in what way? Um, that I, new? No. But, it was uh, like I knew I had to do it. I have to do it. I have to. I have to listen. I have to listen. Uh, but how did she, How did that come, though? With ease in my dream. The have or to. My... How, how did the have to come? Uh, but not that I have to. Yeah, okay. It's not a have to. It's Is a... It rather... That I... I know I need... I, I know I'm going to listen. I, I'm going to... I'm I good. I know how I'm, to... I know how to do it. Which is... That's good. Listening to myself, listening to the language, the 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 people, the words, the yeah, yeah. So you've had this experience before, is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, where did this one rank? Up there with the ten. Up here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Then it came with something new this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what part do you think is this new? The level of go ahead. Enlightenment and hmm. listening to myself, uh-huh. hearing myself, hearing yourself. Yeah. Listening to yourself. Yeah. That's listening. pretty rare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when did you have this dream? On Monday. 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 Uh, what did you do after when you woke up? After well, the stream? I immediately wrote it down. Yeah. And then, um, well, I went back to sleep. <laughs> went back to sleep. Okay. I went back to sleep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. How did your next day go? Good. Good. I meditated again and <laughs> felt good, and I kept meditating every day and been in a good state. Mm. I've been mm. in a great state. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Really happy. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah. And all at all, very happy. Yeah. Really happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 
kind of a lot of fun. Yeah. No. Oh. It is. <laughs> Really well, you can't get much out of a dream, can you? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot out of a dream. Really cool. <laughs> 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 That's true. That yes. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to see that. Yes. Me. No, no. Thank you, Pierre. Hold it, hold it. Okay. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Anybody see Jeff? Jeff. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Anybody feel like playing with toys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what it's doing, right? I do, yeah. All right, now yeah. yeah. see Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Everybody take a look. Okay. All right. Need some help? Where would you go? Um, I, I would I would explore the um, the feeling of guilt. What okay. it was like to see it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Say on. Uh, it, it seemed like maybe number one, the first big chunk because he was doing a lot of observa observation of the two mm -hmm. boys mm -hmm. and what his, his uh, mm -hmm. perception was. Good, good, yeah. good. I had a question about where it says out of my view, like how was he perceiving it? Was he sure. okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, I wanted to know how he felt when he was in a uh, mini panic. He said he was thrown into a mini panic. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I was wondering about that. Mm -hmm. I was wondering to know about the confused state and as to why they brought the body over to the house. Mm -hmm. I'd like to clarify this last thing. It seems like this is as he's waking up, not in the dream. So I guess I, if that's the case, I, I forget that and stay in the one and the two, and just get get his state. I don't see much of his state mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as the observer of this. I would probably ask about the line where it says, "Thank goodness I didn't do so such a thing myself." I nevertheless somehow identify with the sun in that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's outside the dream. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Along that same line, and then uh, worrying about if he did anything like that himself in his life, and that begins to throw me. So it's some kind of an identification he has with the son who did that. What line are you thinking of? At the very last yeah, uh, okay. of the... I have no idea. Okay, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also throughout this uh, kind of weird perspective thing, I mean, as he's, you know, in front of the garage, in the garage, facing the perspective is, I couldn't quite ever figure out where he was as the perceiver in all this. So I need to draw that out and see what's... Okay. Going. Actually, I think I would go with exploring the I'm a little confused because it's kind of interesting that that's his state, that's the question that he has, mm -hmm. right? Given mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. severity of the situation. Yeah, right? read the line. <clears throat> that's the same one that Belinda was, was pointing to. Just, I kept reading and reading, and that was the Oh, line, it's line five, maybe? Mm hmm. Um, <clears throat> That's such a curious question, given the situation. But instinct. Also, what is which goes down to what Nancy was saying. Okay. Sorry. Like what you want to find out what his state of mind was before that, right? Some of his states of mind don't seem to be in here. Okay. So, sure. Where would you go? Well. Now that Barbara has brought that up, um, as I listened to her, it occurred to me that um, what was interesting to me about that, um, it was more than confusion. It was um, surprise mm -hmm. uh, that, that they had to face this so very quickly after mm -hmm. their own act mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now they have to maintain a composure the issue really in the dream is this problem of composure how can they keep themselves um, from giving themselves away by their own expression on their face no. that's that's the mm -hmm. problem that's mm -hmm. where the drama is is uh, the police have shown up at this other house who to thunk it it's such oh. a mm -hmm. chance thing so how do we keep any, we have to face them in a second here. We're going to have to go out there and our faces are going to show it. Mm -hmm. So it's about the composure problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stay there. Trend. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Um, there's a line here. Um. <coughs> that like? Uh, scary. More. Where does it hit you? Uh, solar plexus. Where? In the gut. Go ahead. Talk about In it. In fact, even just as you asked me that right now, it just hit me. Um, guilt. It's the same mm -hmm. thing. It's guilt. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what for. Yeah, I, uh, that's what's important. That's right. 
So I need to know more of what it's like to be in that state. Wow, it's really powerful. Yeah, 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 go ahead. It's like I have to hide something or I have to, um, I'm going to have to pay later and go to hell or I'm going to, even though I don't really believe in it, but it's kind of this I'm doomed. It's very strong. And I, what it immediately does is it immediately throws me through a bunch of, okay, I did this, I did this, I did this in my life, you know, that I, things that, you know, we're not happy about ourselves for, right? So mm-hmm. I immediately start thinking about, well, could it be this, could it be this, could it be this? Um, but it doesn't, but doing that doesn't really... Um, it doesn't solve it. No. No, no, no. Um, it's powerful. It's like you have to hide something, right? Um, yeah, it's, you're gonna have to pay later, right? And you look around, but it's feeling of being doomed. Yes, and, and it's a very strong feeling state, right? It's it's very much like those police showing up on like it's like you, you know, what's the chance of them showing up on the front lawn right after you did this on some random house that you happen to be in the same? Is meaning the point is you're doomed. It doesn't matter what you do, you're you're gonna get caught. You're going to be processed, or you're gonna be. Well, that's not the right word. Yeah, but, yeah. Those uh, two senses of doom, then, isn't it? They are doomed, and you feel doomed. Uh, and in that sense, I can relate. And what? And in that sense, I can relate. Yeah, and in that sense, you then find that you uh, identify with that other person. Right. Right. And and if. Like, like, it is an interesting question that I should have that. Like, I, a more interesting question would be, why the hell did you kill your mother if you're going to feel guilty about it afterwards? You should have thought of that before, <laughs> before you did it. Sure, that's true. That. But that's the state I'm interested in. Um, like, there, as you point out, there are many things you might feel guilty about. Right. But this kind is where? Top. Right? Absolutely, it's right. like... Yeah. It's, ma- I mean, you know, I, I could say that it feels like all the anxiety and panic I've had for the last three years and been going crazy over that. This right is, there. Yeah. 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 I like the idea that hide something. That's in it too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Remember when you said that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Talk about that. Um. Well, any anything that I've not been proud of doing, I'm going to have to, it's going to be found out. Um, but I can't hide it. Just like these guys, they can't hide their face. They're, it's, it's, they're going to be found. Um, like, um, it's almost like facing... Um, Facing your maker or facing, the, you know, uh, the stories that the Christians tell about, you know, at the pearly gates, they make a, a judgment. It's like a judgment. And I will not be able to hide anything. There, everything is known. Everything is completely known. So hiding something is impossible. No. Um, no. Um, when did you uh, see so you're living this, right? And it's going to be found out, right? It's right. going to be sooner or later. It's going to be found out. So you, even though you try to hide something, it's going to be found out. It's futile. And you're going to have to pay later, and you're feeling doomed. Right. And right. Uh, uh, right. Actually, it it could be it could be this. It could be that. It, it's like it's like it feels like um, sometimes in the past when I've had a little um, ganja, um, it it kind of uh, which I. You know, I, I rarely do, but sometimes when I do, uh, all of a sudden I'll get this panic like this, uh, and then I just remember, oh, just relax, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But that panic seems to come out of like, oh, I forgot. And it, it's like something you did in the past that you had repressed, and now you remember. <clears throat> it's like, it's like, it's kind of, and, oh, crap. 
and uh, right. Yeah, it's a sudden awareness that hey, really that's oh yeah, it's like a waking up. A waking it's, it's up. It's a waking up to what? a very, very. It's it's like waking up in a nightmare or something. Yeah, yeah, waking up to a forgotten sin, as it were. I forget, yeah, forgotten yeah. sin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, you've had this for a long time. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. Very familiar. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to ask you? Uh, past scene. Where does where it come Yeah, from? where does it go? Go ahead. <sighs> oh, man. If, you know, we've talked about it before. It's no, no. It's the first thing thing's... that comes to mind is that in the doghouse with these girls, and I'm squatting there, and they ask me to take my pants off, I must be two, two yeah. years old or something. Yeah. But we've talked, we've explored that, you know, in two or three different angles. And my mom walks by. Oh. And I think she looked my way and then looked forward and kept oh. going. <laughs> so she's going to get you sooner or later. Uh, yes, yes. She's going to get you for that. Well, but I, I, I was so confused. I remember being confused, like... So many things were going through my head as a little kid at that point, like, are they making fun of me, these girls, or are they, are they um, my friends? Um, and it, is, is my mom, did, did she look over here and she's ignoring on purpose or, or not? Why doesn't she come over and how come, like parents who catch kids playing doctor, normally the kids get in trouble. So why are we not in trouble? And all, by the way, uh, uh, shouldn't you also have protected me? Maybe it's yeah. a protection thing yeah. that's missing. Right? Yeah. So, so many questions, even as a two-year-old, uh, were, were flying through my head. Great, great. By the way, uh, how did she look as she looked? Her, your mother? Come on. Um, you don't want anything, do you? Come on. How did she look? Um, she... Um, it was such a... You know... The first couple of times we explored the scene, I actually wasn't even sure that I remembered her even turning That's okay. Her head. Any impression She's is good. some 30 yards away walking. No, no. Right? Uh, I've decided I think she did, but it was so fast that my con there was no expression on her face. And it was such a fast turn and then forward that I wonder whether she even saw us. Or if she did see us, she the girls might have been in the way, so she didn't see me, being, right? Hey. Or maybe she kind of maybe she took the reverse. She was a she was a pediatrician at the time. Maybe she thought, okay, well, it's very typical for parents to make kids feel bad about this. Maybe I'll ignore them and just let kids be kids. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, yeah. there's so many scenarios, but we never talked about it. I never yeah. asked her. Yeah. By the way. Uh, Tell me another time when she looked just like that. Um, Any time at all when she looked just like that. It's a okay. history. Come on. You know, as, as so often is the case, when you ask me a question, a scene instantly comes to mind. Go and ahead. then my discursive mind says, no, that can't be it because it doesn't answer his question. Good, try it. But well, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Because yeah, she doesn't look just like that, but right. it may turn out that she does, right? So I was in college much later. Mm -hmm. But this is a rare event. Mm -hmm. And, oh, it's interesting. Even marijuana was engaged again. So uh, she never knew that I, I smoked. And I wasn't a big smoker anyway. I wasn't a big... I was an A student, so... But uh, by this time I was in college and I had friends in the neighborhood and I had moved back in with her... Um, to get away from some frat buddies uh, who were being crazy. And I'm living in the house with her, and I happened to be high this night. And I had never been high around my mother. <laughs> and I go into the kitchen and confronted her on something. But I remember the whole reality of the room was different for me because I was high. And she had this look on her face of, I mean, we just took each other on. And normally, you know, I'm your foot soldier. I'm, I'm you know, Yavol, right? I'm very elite, you know. Uh, um, but this night, 
I felt I could see through her mm-hmm. and her BS, and she didn't like it, and she, she got this very stern look on her face, which she never did, and we just kind of went like this, and it, never, it didn't go anywhere, two or three mm-hmm. things like that, and it was mm-hmm. over. So that's nothing like the By the way, as a kid. Uh, but did you think something might follow after that event? Yeah, I always wondered, like, what the heck? Hey, and by the way, uh, hey. not, too, not too long after oh. that, I, I went into the laundry room. It might have been a different day, but it wasn't much longer. And I found a bag of ganja on the, on the laundry machine. So a she had found it, a bag of marijuana. In she laundry. found it. She found it in my pocket. She's cleaning out the clothes before she puts yeah. them in, right? And what you do with it? She finds it. Yeah. I think it was after it went through yeah. the washer. Sure. So now it's all wet. Yeah. She lays it out perfectly on top of the laundry machine and just leaves it there for me. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to walk in and find it, right? And I'm like, oh, crap. Uh, How do I, what do I wait, say, right? Yeah, well, wait a minute. You're still left with what is she going to do? Well, yes, that's right. Hey. <laughs> right. She's leaving. She's leaving the judgment. That's what is she doing? She's leaving me with a puzzle. And wondering about whether it's going to... Whether finish. it's going to... Boom. Yeah. That's very clever. Whether it's going to come back on me, right? Oh, that's clever. It's very powerful. That's how yeah. she... Actually, yeah. this is how she worked. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. That's why... Oh, that's better than a she punishment. She never had to threaten me. Oh, that's great. She leaves you with the guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? It's a great. Is that a great way to do it? Oh, it's it's. It, you can't get more efficient. <laughs> this is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. What is she doing though? Put a name on it. Yeah. What is she doing? Well, it's certainly manipulation. Man, how? What kind? Mm. She leaves you with what? When is it going to fall? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that great? Better than being punished. She, she, hey. Oh, yeah. I'm punishing myself already. Yeah, that's what it does. She's clever. Yeah, but I, that, I still haven't answered your question, though, have I? Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, I mean, it's a great game. Um, calculated? Everything was hey, done. Calculated? Ooh. What's, what's amazing is how little of a facial expression it would take. Like, I was so keyed in to her face, and all she had to do was make... She didn't have to make big expressions. They were just slight ones. And no, I, would, I would rush to fix it hey, for her, right? No words. See? That's right. It's see? all unspoken. No words. But uh, is there... Oh, that's I can so... tell when she's happy, or I felt ah. I could tell when she's happy or unhappy with me. And if she's unhappy yeah. with me or anything, I rushed in. And, and this is how I became her slave. Yeah. Yeah. This is really one of the great one of the great games, by the way. Wow. It is. Incredible. It's Carl Jung's problem. How so? Perfect expression of it. Carl Jung's father was a minister. Yeah. And he lived in uh, Switzerland, and he loved this Christian cathedral he used to go to all the time. His father was the great theologian in the in the area, yeah. and uh, one day he saw this thing in the Gospel of Mark called the Great Sin, <laughs> and that is. There's a sin you don't know whether or not you've ever committed it. It's the sin against the Holy Ghost. 
you'll never know whether you have or you have not committed yeah. this sin. But eternal hell faces you if you have, even though you don't know whether or not you have it or not. That's how his father ruled. You know, it's, it's funny. And yeah. to, Go ahead. Uh, just to have to end this, uh, then he was deep in the this, in this state. He's deep for a long time. The heavy guilt, you know. I'm going to face it. I can't tell my dad. I can't talk to my dad about this because maybe I have committed it and he's the theologian. I'm going to, hell is all I'm going to get. So long came a dream. He had a dream of God sitting on a golden throne. And he let loose of one of the greatest turds in history. <laughs> and it boom! And demolished his cathedral. He doesn't talk about the effect that had on him. But if you read his red book, he details what it really meant, and he hid it from, the, from his audience for 30 years until after his death they revealed the book. They, they by the way, kept it in republication for 30 years. Because in it, he says, at that moment I saw Christianity was empty. That the, the whole system, based upon just this one assumption, that they can grab you and keep you in this state, and the dream says it's all shit. Boom. <laughs> the whole cathedral he loved so much and he never went back to it. This is how to capture. This is a great this is a great strategy. It's ancient. Well, they were Catholic on her side. Yeah, yeah. They come out of the same background. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a great too. That's it. That's the whole It's beautiful. Yeah. How to, you know, how to control someone for the rest of their life just by not saying, never putting into words, remaining above it all, but you have the power and you're not going to share it. You're not going to be able to talk about it. And what do you do when that power is gone? <laughs> Doesn't give you any direction anymore? Can't. Uh, there is. And, you know, it's not just the guilt. It's what it is is... If you don't know that you yourself, whether whether you yourself create did that sin or not, then you can you wait a minute. Then you can conclude. <clears throat> can go ahead conclude. Uh, well, if you don't know whether you did or not, um, I was gonna, I was I was going to say you can't conclude. Pardon me. I want you to conclude, not go into a feeling state. Well. If you don't know whether you did it or not, then you, you can't believe in yourself after that. No. You can't make any no. decisions. No, you're making a conclusion. Which is? You're not staying with the statement. Hey, if you don't know whether or not there's a, a place called Australia. Yeah. Yeah, but it's such a bad thing. Australia is not a bad doesn't, thing. No, no, it doesn't make any difference. It's the logic. Deal with the logic. I mean... It. If you don't know whether or not something is true or not, what's the only conclusion you can come to? Screw it. Move on. So what are you going to tell her? Um, what are you going to tell her? You had the chance when you were, had that grass. What should you have gone back with her to her with? Hey, Mom. Go ahead. Let me hear it. Um, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't know what would I say. Let's see. Um, yeah, yeah. You see the grass out there? It's all dried. Oh, that's the question you're asking. Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to tell her? <laughs> I want to be a smart ass and say something like, "Mom, I didn't know you smoke. Can I have some?" <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Um, Nice of you to lay that out for me to dry. <laughs> but it doesn't get to the... 
Hey, she's not saying anything. No, she's not. That's so, the... wait a minute, deal with it. Wait a minute, deal with it. Come on, what are you going to tell her? I don't know what to say. So, then you're still caught. I'll just have a cup of coffee while you think about it. <laughs> um, mm. I mean, what? Okay, so what's the issue? In this? What? What's the issue? If I knew what the issue were, I must be blanking out on this. Hey, come on. Um, there you're saying the stuff. She's not putting it into words. Therefore, what are you going to do? What the hell? You can throw the pants in the dryer, but not the grass? It's still wet. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. I just oh, no, that's not bad. You're asking her to put it into words, something to put into words. Well, I mean, I, I want to ask her, you like, so do you think differently of me now? Not bad. Not good. Yeah, I know. It's kind of middling. You're not dealing with the fact that she's saying nothing. Mom, would you like to say something about the uh, oregano bag <laughs> you found in the, in the washer? <laughs> yeah. Because I noticed you laid it out, but you didn't say anything. Is there anything you'd like to say? Therefore, what do you want her to do? What do I want her to do? By questioning her, what do you want her to do? Speak up. That's right. And do what? Reveal herself. About that. In that case, yeah, I see. Because if all she has to do is is these unspoken things, that's right. She retains power. Right. I'm f I'm focused on the guilt and the puzzle and the doubt. Right. Um, but if I and she does not have to commit anything about Nothing. what she's feeling or thinking. Nothing. She's innocent. She's above it all. Above it all. But she has to become a human and come down and be honest. Are you going to let her be a human? By doing what? Saying what, then? Isn't it, uh, isn't it ironic that she was a psychiatrist? <laughs> no. With this problem? The worst part of it. Right? The worst part of it. Yeah, exactly. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say, you know, how does it make you feel? Or what do you think when you see that? Or, you know, what do you want to say? Yeah. Tell me. Let's, let's talk. Yeah. That does it, doesn't it? What does that do to her? It, it puts Jung's hot potato in her lap. That's right. Uh, and she has to decide. No. See, Carl, she Jung, Carl Jung never went to his father. Right, right. See? And therefore, he had to live that ambiguity within his own soul for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. You're challenging it now. Well, let's get real. No. But, see, the thing is, I could also do that when she makes those facial expressions. And what it is, it's always a facial expression of, uh, it just goes gray. It's like, it's like, it's just a sheet of, of blank comes over her face. It's this blank look. And when you get the blank look, you know you did something. No. That's the game. That's the game is the blank look. And each time, it what just you, goes cold. And each time, what can you invite her to do? Um... I just noticed you went through something on your face. Would you like to talk about it? Yeah. Tell me what you're feeling or thinking. Yeah. Time for you to come to out. Get the logos. Yeah, let's hear it, baby. Let me hear What's it, baby. It's not working for you. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> How does she look when you found her there with the pot all laid out drying? Well, she was in the other, she was in the kitchen by that point. It was in the laundry room that the pot was laid out. Did she see you see it? No. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> but wait, she left that little. If your mom's not into you having pot, what would somebody do with it? Like, uh, if she was really against it. Yeah, I don't think she it. was completely. I mean, who? That's the puzzle. Wasn't That's she? it. Wasn't she? That's I it. I mean, why is she drying it? For? Besides, I'm already she's in college. Just throw it away. <laughs> so you had all the power if she was guilty. 
Yep. Yeah, I, I have if she doesn't like you smoking pot, she's going to throw it away. It, the thing is, it was more powerful for her to not express whether she's for or against and leave me with the puzzle. Now she's above it all. Now she's got the power because uh, now it's a question for me for the rest of my life. Power or let off the hook from that she's going to get stoned off of it. <laughs> uh, you know, that would have been great to ask her if she wants to get high together. That would have been very interesting. Uh, why is she driving it? Why do you buy the pot that you're going to throw away? See, even if hey, even yeah. if she, even if you invited her to smoke, that wouldn't do it. <laughs> you want to get, you the want logos. her to get off that stage she's of holiness. Real. Yeah, she's got to come out and talk. About come it. out and talk, and to, But I, I think that would be more likely after a couple of hits. <laughs> to give her some joint. Yeah. yeah. After you, after she talks, you can give her a joint. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, David. Yeah, well, believe me on that. Well, I think one of the best things said tonight was, um, well, what do you do without the power of that? Um, you said that. Mm -hmm. And then you jumped back into it for a minute. Mm -hmm. But um, the, uh, the, the, the milieu of emptiness, silence, and doubt mm -hmm. predicated on the principles of born with, we all born sinners, and uh, that there's an unspoken sin mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. can augment that. Mm -hmm. um, that's just a fascinating milieu. It sure is. It's, and, it's calculated. And, and the, her to, whole life is captured in that one scene. My sisters and I would talk about it. We, we, we knew, and she even mentioned it. She would say her mother would say things and you had to read between the lines. And she well, hated that. Well, she was going to dedicate her, her motherhood to being open and honest with us. Still couldn't do it. What I thought was notable was that at two years old, she knew that she could enforce that that understanding on me, uh, which means that uh, to some degree, we're all born with the notion that we can be culpable to our original sin, and uh, that that is something that needs to be explained and brought sure. out. It's the original sin. Yeah, but we're culpable. <laughs> wow. Boy, what a. You know, you're, you're signed up for a whole different track in life with that one. Mm -hmm. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, this is a lot of dreams are fun, but this is right to the core. Fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that, that culpability. Just, um, well, that you could perceive that it was available to you at that age. See, it, it now allows Jeff to look back and say, Hey, that's the way she was her whole life. He's putting it together now. That blank look, no expression, mm -hmm. right? You're supposed to read between her silence. Mm -hmm. She's still playing the game of her mother. Oh. Or to recognize the feeling state that that brought about and just, you know, shine it on the next time it shows up. Her brother tried to get Logos out of her mom and was in front of her eyes brutally beaten for it. I yep. had to take, I and mean, this is a different age, right? This is, this is the 30s, right? So, uh, and she was, uh, she was a director of nurses at Mass General in Boston. So mm -hmm. she's at top of, and she's going to bring a kid in and say, I beat him. That's why he's got blood on his back, right? So they didn't. Most of the time, they did not bring him to the hospital. But this is, her brother was away. She said, my brother was Sounds like the Northeast to me. Right? This is what you get for yeah. opening mama. That's it. You get the belt. That's right. Yeah, and beastly. Yeah. You know what's interesting? There's no cat that will ever do that to their kittens. I know, huh? There's no dog that will ever treat their dogs, their puppies, the way we treat our children. There's no gorilla that will do that to their dogs. No, human beings. Yeah. Uh, so animals don't have a pathologist. <laughs> That's right. You need the mind to have a pathologos. Mm. You know, another thing that is interesting is as long as she does that, then she becomes like the object of your meditation. Yes. You're, she's got to always be on your mind. Yes. And, you, and that robs you of your own self. 
you're always worried about what she, how she's going to judge you or what she might say or not say. Or, that's what's called the papalogos. Mm -hmm. That's the really nature of the papalogos. It's like a real... That's right. Takes away your... Well, and hey, the, you know, the, that's, that's why many people act violently against people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you'll keep them in your mind. That's love. That's a kind of love. Right, it's a kind of love. Yeah. Right. So it's just, that's right. Uh, that connects with you. You know, that guy that I mention every once in a while that was on TV with the psychiatrist who, did, who couldn't figure it out, but he was involved with this, the uh, serial killer. And he was an amazing killer because he would hold a screwdriver and put it right close to the victim's eye and said, I'm going to shove this into your eye if you dare not look at me. If you shift your view from me, I'm going to plunge this into your eye as he then pushed it. Cruel. And he said, I want you to know me even at your moment of death. See, he wants... He wants the people to remember him. He wants them to see him. Wow. Mm. What kind of a life as a child must he have had to demand that someone at the point of death see them? Mm. Right? They must have ignored the kid from the day he was born all the way through with such merciless state that he then becomes a killer who demands someone, if you're not looking at me, I'm going to plunge and scramble your brains with this screwdriver, which he did, by the way. Mm. Mm. They, so the, the outcome of the, of the analysis was a failure? Or it, uh, by the way, the psychiatrist didn't have a faintest idea of how to deal with us. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Tiddly V show. Luckily, I saw it. Turned it off after that. Is that like our homework? <laughs> figured that out? <laughs> <laughs> How's your world? Still there? Good, yeah. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> so if if Jeff doesn't, so if the Jeff effect that Jeff has with his mom being silent, no. or you know, mm -hmm. just giving up the weed there, does that mean that he is carrying apologos by thinking, what is she? What was the purpose of? of that, that silence, and the message. Well, that, so he what, has a kind of logo now. So, it, so right? What did it do? It kept him in that state of mind. Mm -hmm. And therefore, behind that state of mind is his mother. Mm -hmm. So this is a way you can get someone to keep you, keep you on their mind. Mm -hmm. And that's a form of love. But what does he have then besides that? But now, now that he can put in words what's behind that panic, mm -hmm. which he hadn't up to this point, now he knows the proper object. The object is not to try to figure out the panic, but the cause of it. But uh, you tell me more about what you're thinking, the hell with oh, what I'm thinking. Does he, I mean, I'm thinking like, does he reflect about that scene and still suffer about it, like it interrupts his life? Yeah. And what is that called? Pathologus. It is pathologus yeah. for him too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Powerful, is it not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. No, I, I have a hey, couple. <laughs> there is nothing more powerful than a pathologus. No enlightenment experience can touch it. The best roshis, the best yogis, the popes, the cardinals, <laughs> all of them. Hey, they're still going to play out their pathologos one way or the other. There's only one thing that can rid of a pathologos that has nothing to do with enlightenment. Enlightenment is a myth. It won't, won't, won't touch pathologos. Only one thing will, the logos. Therefore, the Logos is more powerful than the Enlightenment experience. But don't tell that to anybody because they get upset. Mm. A promise? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, not t I'm not saying I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Unless I've asked. There's, there's something about this particular um, manifestation, this particular Pavlovius, that really struck me. Go ahead. Which is like, uh, I, I was actually thinking about what you, um, that thing that you say about um, no animals would treat their kids that way. That's right. Only you know, people do that to each other. <coughs> and it's like, the sense of injustice. That's right. Like, I, I was angry when I was listening to it. I got angry just like myself. Mm. And so it's just... That's right. Every pathologist is, is an example of an injustice. And that's why we're human. Because we have an inner perception of justice. And we suffer when we experience an injustice and so we can resolve it in one way or the other. I mean, the, the amount of injustice in our, our cultures is, is totally fabulous. I mean, on, on, you know, like the, you know, would you care to look at history? Can anybody care to look truthfully at history? It's a bloodbath. Every page is soaked with blood. It's a, it's a, the whole thing is nothing other than madness. Occasionally, you get little couple of people stick their heads up and look around and say, hey, I think I know what's going on here. <laughs> Down they go. <laughs> I've, I've read one history book, and it, it's, um, it was very sobering. Good. <laughs> and that's just one, one book. I was like, whoa. Yeah. And we're now facing another bloodbath coming. It looks like Russia wants to become the new empire and conquer all Europe and the United States and all other countries. Right? That's their plan. At least that's Putin's plan, according to the intelligence. He's got his finger on the button. Pardon? Right now, he's got his finger on the button. He could... Um, uh, take down our, our entire infrastructure. That's the goal. He wants to weaken the uh, NATO, undermine democracies, and therefore the next step will be a sweep into Europe without any real difficulty in conquering it, and that will bring about a socialization, not, not socialization, but a, a Russian imperialism for the next thousand years. Yeah, and, and Which is what Adolf wanted. He wanted a thousand years too. They all want a thousand years. That's good. Pope wanted it. He, yeah, but, he got it. To what just end or to what to what dynamic in order to preserve the plutocracy? I think it's in order to preserve the plutocracy. Pa pardon me, do that again? I think it's in order to pre preserve a plutocracy. It, it, there are no just ends to this kind of, of, of uh, manipulation. So, oh, no. Um, no. Th there must be some some assumed purpose and goal. It's not justice. It's not truth. Uh, it's not freedom of expression, it does not uh, have anything to do with the proletariat at all. So it's another oligarchy uh, plutocracy. The, the, the only way anything is going to change is what happened in North Carolina. Well, I'm glad it's local. Right? Well, the young people yeah. are saying, the hell with you guys, right? We're going to make changes. Changes only come by the, young, the youth. When they become mobilized, changes occur. Everyone else has to protect the system. They say, hey, I don't have a part of it, let's change it. Yeah, I see those kids. Every, every one of our major changes in history began with young people. Yeah. And they're doing it, right? They're beginning to wake up. This is a new, this is... What would happen if that took place in Russia? Uh, it, it'd be uh, madness for a while, and probably a bloodbath, but I'm sure yeah. it'd be all for the bad. Yeah. How do you wake up people? No, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. So, Pierre, I had a question about Jeff's stream. Please. Specifically the timing of it. Oh, like what happened this week? Wait, yeah, what do you think? Not really, well. It's hard to remember because this was the day, Wednesday morning and I didn't, I often make notes about what happened the day before I didn't do that this time. So I'd have to think about what happened on Tuesday. Um, you know, I, um, the only thing that comes to mind is, 
I have gone through a couple of midlife talks with Pierre and uh, decided to talk with my boss about stuff, and I have. But that's bringing out a lot of those too, in a sense. Like, what are you thinking? What am I thinking? Let's get it out on the table. Um, Did you look at any of the videos you posted? Or any of the materials? Or you need to the just post them here? Uh, I, I looked at them a little bit, but I, I didn't go back on them really thoroughly. No. Um, I didn't, like, sit for an hour. Yeah, not thoroughly. Well, I was just wondering, because if, if playing doctor brings about a certain reaction, if marijuana brings about what sounded like a more severe mm -hmm. insofar as it was an expression during this. But <coughs> then would it follow, what would follow about perhaps the weekend? Oh, after the summer. I don't know. I just wonder. Because so, or where you would put that? You know, I think, I think you're onto something. Right? In a way, it's like keeping the crabs in the crate, right? Uh-huh. Keeping the crabs in the crate. Keeping the crabs. In the crate. Keeping the crabs. In the crate. Like, like you know. Uh, I have never heard that. Playing doctor, but, but it's a good place for them. Well, you know, <laughs> keeping. Well, you know, what crabs do is they don't have to. The, the old story is you don't have to put a lid on a crab crate because oh, lids aren't necessary because as soon as one tries to get out, the other's pulling back in. So they still <laughs> maintain, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is what she's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but I would say anytime I step out of the family box. Mm -hmm. So playing with the girls, or doing a little marijuana, or thinking independently at a weekend seminar, all of those would be way outside. Mm. 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 Cool. Yeah. It'd be cool if there's something liturgical about that. Liturgical? Yeah, because it sounds very, very kind of pagan you know, and folklorish. But uh, um, it's just kind of an interesting image. So if there was something liturgical about not being able to uh, uh, rise above the crowd, or not wanting to, or, or not not um, insisting upon it. Um, you know, it's funny, she has a Catholic, she, they were raised Catholic in Boston, and she got to 13, and she asked her parents, um, this trilogy thing, this trinity thing, is not making much sense, and I have a few questions. So she already had a mind at this age, right? And she had asked the local parish priest, this is, you know, this is the heart of Irish Catholicism, right, Boston. And, but they were on the outskirts in Medford. And uh, he could not answer these questions. So she went home and asked her mom and dad, and they said, well, fine, we'll send you into downtown Boston to talk to whoever the cardinal wants you to talk to, right? She didn't speak with the cardinal, but somebody high up. And she, they send her in on the trolley, and she goes down, and she talks with this fellow, and she runs him through her questions on the Trinity. He cannot answer them. And the only thing he says that she comes back home with and tells her parents is, he told me um, that it's A, it's a matter of faith. You just have to believe. And B, uh, if I pursue this line of questioning, I'm going to burn in hell. Mm -hmm. So she says, my parents said to me at that point, you're a good girl, you won't burn in hell. But that's where the conversation ended. Too bad. That's the crab bucket right there. She, she had enough. But she's been trained to not take the question any further, right? Mm. She didn't, she, she, she came to a conclusion. She didn't know she came to a conclusion. But she didn't know she came to. And the conclusion was, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Later in life, that's all. She, I, yeah. d doesn't make any sense. Right. Was this not really not to anybody. Sorry, I need to just back. Is that your mother or your sister? Mom. Oh, so it's a family tradition. Yeah. Passed on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. see, see, that's the crime of the Holy Ghost. See, they can't talk about the Holy Ghost because of that one principle in the Gospel of Mark. You, you can't know anything about it, but you can possibly misunderstand it or violate it, and you'll never know if you did or you didn't. That's it. Same thing. So you carry the guilt. That's the name of the game. Who, whoever, whoever ends up with the guilt has the pathologos. 
When I went to Athens, there's a rock there. Then you're caught. I'm sorry, I interrupted. No. So, so, so you can't you can't tell anybody fuck you. Why not? With this <laughs> paddle over thing. Sure, they can say fuck you. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be no, because you you can't. Um, well, the reason I went there is because uh, that's the, that's my father's, and the two of those fit together very nicely. Yeah. You have to just hold on to this question, hold on to the guilt, don't speak up, don't ask for a logos, but don't say fuck you either. The two of them fit together very nicely. Well, is that what your mother's? Well, she's not exile. Yeah. That's exile. That's yeah. exile. Exile. Yeah. You're no longer part of the clan. Which is what my father said to me. If you keep asking those questions, uh, you're going to be in a boys' school. In a That's right. Mm -hmm. It's going to be outside of our society. Mm -hmm. The only answer to that is, well, maybe there are a couple of people like, maybe we can get together. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they actually think, oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I'll leave you guys. <laughs> Right, there's got to be people like me somewhere else. Maybe I'll take a look around. That's right. So my parents might have married because she's learned to herself. She's carrying a papalogos, which will never threaten his. Ideal. She's never going to ask. She's never going to ask for his logos. That's right. Because she's a good girl. Because she's a good girl. Oh. Yeah. And you don't want to you don't want her fool around with a woman who's got a logo going for them. So, you know, then they're going to start, you know, with all that stuff. They're going to think they're important. They're going to think the relationship is important, right? They may even think screwing is important. It's terrible. It's terrible. Everything gets ruined. So keep them barefoot, pregnant, and dumb. Yeah. No. She worked for pro bono for a lot of years. Hmm. No. Anyway. Well, David, we're going to have a session tomorrow, you think? Um, well, if it sounds like it's um, been voted on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, don't have uh, much in the way of preparation, but uh, we've got a lot of stuff to bring. I'll bring stuff, and I'm just gonna like wake up and put on some coffee. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. What if it rains? If it rains, I am not. I am not. That's I'm out not then. then I'm not equipped to handle rain. No, no. And, and mm -hmm. if it's yeah. wet, I don't think it's a good idea. So if there's, if there's water it, on your windshield tomorrow morning, don't come. Is is it threatening? It's really threatening. Oh, yeah, we're we're supposed to end. like yeah. tonight? Yeah, mm. it's like mm -hmm. 70, 80 percent through the night mm -hmm. and into the morning. Well, you don't have to worry about change in climate anyhow because it's just raining. Yeah, so um, yeah. I think it's about. I think it's it's probably going to be a no go because of oh. no, the moisture. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming in dry. So, do you want me to send out an yeah. email that says rain or wet cancels? Is that uh, what yeah. You're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I'll do my best to um, um, uh, offer something up, and I have accommodations, but I, but it's outside, and so if I really do be that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So put it out there if you want, but uh, be 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 cautioned. It's it's not worth mm -hmm. uh, wasting a lot here? of gas on if, if. Yeah. What were you going to say about the What do you think? Rock? Should I put out something that Thank says you. it's a David unless it's raining or unless it's really sure, wet? Because sure, sure, sure. Because okay. the David. No. Thanks. Well, what do you want to explore now that we have a few moments around to play? Sure. I have a dream. Is there another dream? I have you have a dream? Oh, come on. <laughs> you good up there, Josh? Oh, sure. All right, merci beaucoup. <laughs> did I, did I miss it? 
Uh, was it here? Was that like a one-two game? Yeah, it was like two pages. Anyone have a copy, please? Usually, oh, it's a little short. I right here. Usually, we have an interlude about this time to um, talk about whether there's going to be a uh, meeting at my house on Saturday morning. And I've got, I'm, I'm going to cancel. Okay, good. Only two, okay. Yeah, okay. Only oh, good. too much uncertainty. Oh, I have them. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. Pleasure. Yeah. This is another very long one. Uh-oh. We'll be here all night. All right. <laughs> um, it was early morning. I heard Marie wake up, or actually come back to the room. And as I woke up, I had this uh, in my mind. And... Uh, I remember you talking about having a conversation, and uh, I told Belinda before she talked to you about that one that I, I felt like I was having a conversation in my dreams when I wake up because I want to remember, but it's like I'm I'm talking. So, anyways, I have this, and it says, Socrates or Pierre, listen to the language. Huh. And I wanted to change it to end Pierre, but Belinda, my sister, said, don't change a word. Did okay. you dream she said this? No, no, when we did my dream. You got a dream together. I wanted to change it to end, Oh. but she said or is significant. Because mm. doesn't that um, possibly make it a question? What did what that do to you? Well, it's uh, kind of like bringing back what you were teaching us about uh, that Plato concentrated on, the, on the, the light and you concentrate on the dark, uh, meaning dreams. And uh, it seems like uh, we can get if we study our dreams and listen to the language that we can uh, achieve our goals. And I just thought it was funny because my, my wife had that one the day before and then I had that one the, the, day, the morning after. Yeah, um, what did that do to you in the, in the dream? Well, uh, when I woke up, I was like, uh, I started telling Marie, hey, I, I, I have this to say. And she says, well, write it down, write it down. So um, I felt happy. I felt like uh, er, um, something to, to write it down. And uh, it felt uh, significant. So what's that like? It's, uh, it feels kind of intuitive. What one? Intuitive. Do it again. In, it feels like intuitive. It feels intuitive. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm not. I, look here, see, I'm. Um, I'm kind of slow, so I have to ask more questions. So much. Um, uh, where did it hit you? Any special place? Uh, it was my mind. Huh? My mind. Like, what did it do to it? It was. Um, Like I said, it was like a conversation. What, uh, just like any old conversation? Just like I'm talking to you right now. It's just, just a conversation, and then she woke up, or she woke me up, and right when I woke up, yeah. that's what I had. Yeah. Um, just like any other conversation? Like with friends. A conversation with friends. With friends. Uh, yeah. yeah. How is that different? Um, I'm myself. I'm, I'm, uh, on yourself. open. I'm open. Not worrying about what I have to say or, or, uh, I'm just. You have more? Saying, saying what's on my mind. What, what? Saying what's on my mind. Um, yeah. Uh, what's that like? <laughs> um, it's, it's awesome, because uh, I usually, uh, I don't. 
Yeah, but it's normally it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's dull. It's no, it's not no, dull. no. How can you tell me what? what? It's uh, boring. It's, it's awesome. What? It's great. It's, oh, uh, awesome. <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, like what? Great, like um, um, it's it's comforting. Comfort, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it's just yeah, comforting is pretty good. Yeah, um, it's just like uh, talking to my wife. What what? Like talking to my wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, um, say, um, have you had this experience before? Put all those things together? Mm hmm. Huh? Um, can you compare it with other times? Average? No, it's, it's, uh, it's up there. It's about uh, nine. What, pardon me? About a nine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of it now? Good state to get into? Yeah. 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 It's awesome. Yeah. I just wish I could remember more. Yeah, well, you see, uh, what's interesting is that the use of this word. Right, what does that mean? Like it's like conversation with friends, like we're talking, right? It's what what is about the language that seems? Well, it's it's the the dialectic, the dialogue. It's it's uh, talking to someone without uh, trying to impose your will on them. Yeah. And uh, to actually listen and have compassion to for what they have to say. Yeah, that's an interesting state, mm -hmm. right? Your ego is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seemed to uh, push that up a bit. Did it? Yeah. 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 yeah like you said, it, I'm looking for that one thing I had before, and. <laughs> and. And maybe I'm having it, I'm just not realizing it. No, no, because <clears throat> it's empty. But meaningful. Mm -hmm. Yes. You were perhaps thinking of the luminosity aspect of it, mm -hmm. right? Yes. No. That's the difference between the first and the second hypothesis. But <laughs> 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 well, one thing, though, you can't get too much out of a dream. You know, just a sentence. And, uh, right. Uh, I was just thinking about your statement during the seminar that uh, while you can get luminosity states out of dreams, it's much more common to get the obvious and therefore ignored, whatever yeah. you're going to call it, self-clear state. That's right. And there you have it. Yeah. Yeah, it always happens that way, so. And, uh, but it, but its effect on Don was obvious. Uh, it, how much, at least, to, well, to me, he, uh, I'll qualify a little bit so he, we leave some room for him to say what was going on. But he looked, he he become, he became a completely different person once this became apparent to him. He 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 just loosened up and became happy, free, rich. To, for us to see ourselves afterwards having been in that obvious state. And the self has no marks. Yeah, those are exactly. But you can still conclude about how it functions. Yes. And that is so satisfying. 
Yeah, and also by contrasting it. See, a lot of those contrast. Interesting. Please. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank Like it from you. Everybody got one? Thank you. Okay, everyone take a minute out, take a look. Elder, you looked up first. <laughs> I was just looking. <laughs> Come back to me. How would you go? Where would you go? Well, there's a challenge here because there's two short dreams, and so you can see that the, the contrast between the two is astounding. And that puts me in a quandary. If I uh, well, then you use black, you know, just take the old. We'll, we'll start with the first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, so, I'm you know, both both options are great. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm-hmm. Barbara, <laughs> Julie. Well, I guess I'd like to know the state of mind. Of, sure, why not? Yes. Yeah. Good. See these, and this one, there's so many that are interrelated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. And very clearly interrelated. So. Huh. Um, I'd like to know what mm. it was like when you saw the two feet. <laughs> mm. Are they two separate dreams? Yes. Oh, okay. oh. But why would you think that would open up the point of discussion, or is like, what's the background for asking that question? Well, it suggests that she's pregnant, and so I'm thinking it might reveal, it might open up something about one or about the whole um, okay. thing. Association. Uh, yeah. uh, I would ask whether or not she had any desire to stay with the group. Mm-hmm. 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 <coughs> See, there are clearly two parts, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Is there yeah. any bridging concept that might include them both? Mm-hmm. Well, Maybe the kissing. Because? Because sometimes getting pregnant is 
Preceded by being kissed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, I wonder how it was when he kissed you. Okay, go ahead. You want me to read both of them? Yeah, what was okay. it like? Oh, what was it like? The kiss? Yeah, the kiss. Um, it was good. It um, felt good. It uh, felt right. Um, it was an innocent kiss. It wasn't, you know, like uh, what you would call French kissing. It was just an innocent what, what, what? kiss. It wasn't French kissing. It was just a kiss. And yet it seemed right. Right. Good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> good innocent. Yes, exactly. What, what? She, she said innocent. As no, well. he said innocent. You said innocent. I did say innocent. Yes. Okay. I did. Like oh. Really? Yeah. What did you meant that? Like, yeah, what it was mean? innocent. Yeah. What was the point? That it was a, it was innocent. Innocent. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. 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 So, um, that's an interesting state of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not my normal. What? Not my not normal. Not my normal state of right. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, how did it involve the other person? What did you notice? They were they were there too. Huh? They were there too. They were in this state also. It was mutual. It was unified. Yeah. So what would you call that? To that kind of togetherness. Royal pair, hmm? a royal pair, royal couple. Royal couple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very simple, though. It's like what? what? It is so simple. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no complication. No complication. Yeah. Or? It was um very natural. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, dull. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> Well, what would you add? Um, well, maybe, yeah, I would say there was some beauty to it. Beauty? Yeah. Um, there's no hang-ups. Um, it's just two people enjoying each other's company. Strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm doing fine. Um, um, foggy? No, clear. Oh, oh, oh. Um, in what way clear? Um, my norm. When I normally, my normal self, I get, I get um, all these thoughts that go through my head. And I have no clarity. Um, I like to call it my hamster wheel. I get on my hamster wheel. Oh. And I start thinking about all the negative things that can happen. And everything that can go wrong and all this other stuff. And I had none of this in this dream. I had none of that in the no. dream. Then there were, in terms of your state of mind, then you were clear of all that. Yes. Oh, yes. Empty of all that stuff. Yes. Huh? Yes. And it was felt good. 
And it felt good to, to be, be able there. to not have all that, felt all right. that baggage. Without the baggage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. The mind cleared itself all of that stuff. <laughs> uh, therefore, it seemed like uh, added a couple more words. It seemed like like uh, this is truly who I am, without the baggage. Interesting. <laughs> Without the path orders. <laughs> right? Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, the, the path logos holds me back a lot. It does. For sure. And it angers me that it holds me back a lot. <laughs> Did it hear? No. 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 I like this better. I like me this way. No. Have you been in this state before? A long, 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 long time ago. A long yeah. time ago. <laughs> A long time ago. So it's returned, right? How do you like its return? Oh. In the dream or now? <laughs> Both. In the dream, I liked it. Now it scares me a little bit. Because? Because I go back to my hamster wheel, thinking of all the things that could go wrong. But you're not doing that now. <sighs> no. No. Yeah. No. Hmm. So would you say... Uh, you're coming to birth with something? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the dream therefore saying in the second part? That I'm giving birth to my real self? Yep. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> All righty then. Yay, let's do this. Woohoo! All righty. I like it. Take a look at that last, and then tell me what else is there. Yeah, it's been painful for me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. Right before, um, yeah. right before this, it was painful for me. Yeah. yeah. Right before giving birth to myself. Yeah. yeah. Very painful. Yeah. But now, you came to birth. <laughs> Thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, let's celebrate that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yours. Thank you. Yours. Okay. Thank you. Any more dreams? Well, we only had a good pot of coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Attempted. Yeah, uh, sure.